Hi everyone, this is Lynn and welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing this Loftin card with you using some newly released products by Crafty Meraki for their Meraki Hugs release. I hope that you already saw all of the inspiration that started at the beginning of this week because the release has been live since Monday. So if you didn't see all of those new incredible products then definitely check it out. Um, today I am featuring the Love Forever uh, stamp set using this adorable pig. Uh, I just found that it was so so cute and I'm going to let it shine on its own in this card. Another thing that I wanted to mention before I start about the card and how this all came together is that this card is part of an Instagram hop. Today there is an Instagram hop and tomorrow as well to celebrate this new release. So definitely check it out. All of the inspiration you have a giveaway that you can win. So it's worth checking it out because I just love all the cards of the design team. They are incredible card makers out there and they have some inspiration for you. Now as it's Friday, I am here sharing my card with a video for you and I hope that I can inspire you in a way that you maybe didn't thought about yet uh, to use this new stamp set. So as I said this one is from the Love Forever. I stamped out the pick here and I am coloring it in using my Copic markers. So the ink I used for the stamping was the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink Obsidian Black. Any black ink will do. And I'm using my Copic markers to color it in. Now the paper that I use here is Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper. There are a lot of papers out there perfect for alcohol markers. I just fell in love with this one. Um, it's a really handy one. It can handle quite a lot of markers. So if you like to do some crazy layering and ink blending, that's all a possibility. For the colors of today's card, I decided to keep it muted. I don't know why, I will also share really pinkish and orangey and bright valentine and love themed cards this year. Um, but, well, whenever I give a card to to my my love in my life, um, well, I, I sort of try to find colors that he likes and it doesn't have to be always that bright for him. So I went for this muted green, really soft colors, a bit neutral, um, just because that's also a possibility. And so I hope that I can inspire you by this uh, to also go out of the comfort maybe of using just reds or pinks, um, because maybe your recipient also loves other colors more and you can definitely make a card in another color. So another new product that I'm using today is the Dancing Feathers dye. It's this elegant dye uh, that creates that gorgeous background um, and I just love it. It's truly, truly elegant. Now I didn't want to overpower the pig with that gorgeous background so I decided to cut a piece of an A2 sized card base, well panel, just on an angle, a bit random. And so I did that here and now I decided to also score it a bit. Why? Just because you can. It's sort of a decorative um, well, thing. You can also create a complete background like this and start scoring things and making squares and stuff if you want to. Um, I just went for one line. You can also add two if you want to, three, four, whatever your heart pleases. It's a possibility. Um, but I just wanted that love to be standing on top of some sort of a border, but I didn't want it to be straight just to give it a bit more interest. So I went for... A sort of a diagonal love um, and so that's why I have that other panel cut that way. Now for my background I thought well you can definitely keep it white if you want to you can white on white that's really gorgeous but I thought well maybe I can just mimic um, the color of the sweater that I gave to the pig and the antique linen is just perfect. Uh, mine is really really dry I'm going to fit it up um, once my refill arrives, uh, because I also use it for no line coloring, can be a tip. Um, but um, I just decided to do a really soft blend. I also decided to use the shadow uh, of the love. There is a bigger shadow as well, but that one I'm not using today. 
uh, I decided to add a little bit of that antique linen on the bottom of the love just on the area actually where I stopped ink blending my background you see and then where the background is ink blended there I let it white now for the love itself not shadowing I decided to try to mimic the green of the present and so uh, I took some distress inks and I must be honest that shabby shutters and old paper those two are barely used in my craft room and it's a shame it truly truly is uh, they are gorgeous and it works perfect with uh, this green that I use uh, as my quick markers I wanted a bit of gradient so I also took the pill paint um, and that way I created the love now if you want to when you see the card in the end there is still quite a lot of white area um, you can definitely also stamp a sentiment from the stamp set there are some punny sentiments and I really love them uh, but you can stamp them on this white area if you want to um, but I didn't do that just to keep it as simple as possible I lined up that um, piece with my background by using my score tool there uh, you can also use your Misty, it's a tip that I saw by Kathy Zilski um, and it's a really really handy one. I don't use it often but in this case with the stickiness of my foam tape I thought it was a nice idea to just do it that way to be sure that it was straight. Now I'm going to add this shadow, I did it with some liquid glue and I didn't press it completely down just to make sure that if I added the green love that it was just perfect going to fit in there and that I didn't manipulate any shape or form of the love so I'm also adding this and then I will add that pig right there where the O of the love is um, something that I like about this design and these critters there are other critters in this stem set, like the cat, uh, for example, um, that you can place exactly in the same spot as a pig, and it would work as nice as this. Um, but I just wanted to show you one of them. But there are many more like this that can work, and I just love the volatility of this set and this ID, and I hope that it can inspire you in any way. For the embellishments, using also some new products at the Crafty Meraki shop, being the Meraki Gold Opal Gems. Gorgeous. I think there are three shapes if I am not uh, skipping one of them. At least three shapes. I will, I will, well, sizes, I will put it like that. I thought that it was a nice idea to add it. Uh, there are other colors as well, but for my card, I thought that the, lo uh, that the gold ones were going to work the best. Uh, with the colors that I use, depending on the colors that you will use, other colors, gems, or maybe the crystals from previous releases will work better. That's up to you, of course. So, just adding some glossy accents on the heart of that tag, and then my card is finished. I'm not adding anything more, it's a simple but clean card. So, that is my card for today. I hope that you enjoyed. This video and that you like it, the idea that I'm presenting here um, I want to thank you all for stopping by don't forget to check out Instagram uh, today and tomorrow for the Instagram hops with the amazing giveaways by Crafty Meraki thank you so much for stepping by and I wish you an incredible day bye